In middleweight prospect Lamar Rush, 13 and 0, seven knockouts here at the Summit Gym in Big Bear. Um, you're kind of new, new face to camp in a way. What's it like uh, coming out here? How did it come to where you're working with Abel and the crew? Um, it's great coming out here. Uh, learn a lot from coming through with it. But uh, I mean, I just came actually. My coach knows Abel real well and brought me out here to work with him, and it was all love ever since then. So okay. Um, did you, so you worked a little bit with Gennady Lovkin or? Uh, yes, this match is my third camp with him. Okay. Um, as I say, from um, first camp to this camp, the fights I had between those times have been um, great fights. Uh, we actually knocked out Jonathan Cepeda first round. Yeah. Showtime, um, we knocked out Jose Alonzo fourth round. And we just beat Russell Jordan um, in New York in, in May. So I mean, a lot of great things has come. A lot of great things have happened for me from learning and Learning the crab from April and beginning. Now I was going to ask you about the victory over Cepeda. Um, the, you know, he was undefeated at the time, a battle of undefeated. What was your mindset heading into that fight? It was um, on Showtime, you know, like. I've always been the type to shine when it's time to shine, and uh, Jonathan Cepeda beat me in the amateur, so it was something personal. Um, nothing against him, but it's just I felt like he owed me one. And um, I came, went to the camp, train, had my mind focused, and went out there and took care of business. Uh, I mean, honestly, I expected that. Not in the first round, maybe the third or fourth round, but I mean, I expect to get him out of there because, like I said, I know I'm a better fighter physically and mentally. So, okay. can you tell viewers a little bit about your history in boxing, where you're born and raised, and how you got into the sport? I was actually born in Tallahassee, Florida, and um, I moved to Wilmington, North Carolina when I was nine and started on the late Sheridan Morgan. Okay. Um, I actually went to college in 2005, and my, my coach, um, Sheridan Morgan, asked Al Smith, the former trainer of Ray Mercer, Anthony Hembrook, Keith Mullins, uh, would he take me on? He took me in as a kid. Took me in as his own as a son, um, Fayetteville State. He uh, picked me up from Fayetteville State every day. I'm a Fayetteville State graduate. I graduated with a business and administration degree and from 05 to 09. Uh, my amateur career, I got rated number four at 165. Decided to turn pro, hooked up with my manager, Agus Climbers. Got into it, uh, got into fighting, and, and been undefeated ever since. Uh, came to Big Bear with uh, Abel and Gennetti, and this is home for me. What have you learned about so far in your pro career, what have you learned about the sport of boxing as well as yourself as a fighter? Um, I take that it takes patience and it takes time. Um, that's what that man Abel was real big on. Um, got a great relationship with Abel. Uh, it takes time. You can do nothing overnight. Uh, practice and it takes time. And that's one thing with me. The same thing with me. Like everyone says, hey man, we think you're ready for uh, Sergio Martinez. No, I'm not. It takes time. You know, I'm a young guy coming up and I'm gonna work hard to get to the top. But as of right now. I'm gonna take it step by step and take my time, you know what I mean? Just like any college student, just like a college, you go from a freshman to a, uh, to a senior, you know, and that's how I'm gonna take my pro career from I'm a freshman, up and coming freshman, now I'm out in my junior year, getting ready to take another step in. Okay, and what was it like working with Gennady Golovkin, and what are your thoughts on him as a fighter? Working with Gennady is, uh, it's a great experience. Um, everyone asks me, can he punch? Is he the puncher that everyone thinks he is? He definitely is, but, on top of that, he's not a guy that comes in there and knocks all his, his sparring partners out. We have a bond inside the ring and outside the ring, you know. Um, real great guy. Like I said, he's all around guy. You know, from the inside the ring to outside the ring, you think like, wow, this can't be the same person. You know, he's a very humble guy, you know, and that's the type of I like to associate myself with. So, I mean, he's a great guy, man. The experience is also is great. Like I said, from the first time to camp to now to all the fights I had in between, there been I've been dominating in my. My level of competition has been rising ever since. You know, like I said, knocking out Jonathan Spade, Jose Alonso, uh, Jose Medina, uh, Russell Jordan. I mean, we're making them look like nobodies, you know. And, but at the same time, like I said, we're stepping up slowly and being patient. All right. And how can fans uh, reach out, interact with you? Um, I'm also on Facebook, uh, Boxer Russ, B O X E R R U S S. Uh, Instagram, uh, Boxing Q, B O X I N G Q U E. Uh, and I'm um, on Twitter, B O X I N G. Q-O-A. All right, thanks a lot.